Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Once you've entered your inventory into the item list, you'll need to reorder the products in the future in order to keep your inventory parts stocked. While QuickBooks doesn't require you to use purchase orders, it is recommended. If you use purchase orders, you can see what items you have on order and when they are due to be received. You will also be able to compare what you receive against the items within the purchase order. If you don't order items in advance or don't want to use purchase orders, you can buy inventory directly by using the Items tab when you're writing a check or when you're making a credit card purchase. Now you can create a purchase order by selecting vendors from the menu bar and then choosing the create purchase orders command. Here you simply enter the items that you want to purchase, the quantity, and the vendor from whom you wish to make the purchase. You can also enter a vendor message, and if the item happens to have a preferred vendor, the vendor will be filled in automatically. Otherwise, select the vendor from the vendor drop-down at the top of the form. You can then enter the date of the purchase order, and make sure that the ship to information is entered correctly. Now if it's one that's to be printed, you can check the to be printed checkbox and then click save and close or save and new and print them later. Or you can simply click the print button to print it immediately. Now after you've created a purchase order, QuickBooks creates an account called purchase orders in your chart of accounts. This is a non-posting account and doesn't affect your balance sheet or income statement. The Purchase Orders account is simply used to produce a quick report showing current purchase orders so that you'll always know what is on order. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.